We'll return in a moment with more of the Museum of Television and Radio Showcase. TV Land. Out, damn spot. Out, I say. One, two. Why then tis time to do it? What will these hands ne'er be clean? Here's the smell of the blood still. All the perfumes of Arabia will not sweeten this little hand. Oh, oh, oh. My hands still smell like chicken. Saint elsewhere on TV Land. Aye, there's the scrub. We now return to the Museum of Television and Radio Showcase. It's not 1941. It's 1958. You hear me? It's 1958. How could it be 1941? It's 1958. How could it be 1941? We'll return in a moment with more of the Museum of Television and Radio Showcase. Shannon's smart. He's charming. He's the best in his field. And we all know it's what's on the inside that really counts. Meaning? Meaning there's really no reason to dwell on, well, you know. The fact that I'm uh, kind of fat? You mean it doesn't bother you? Yeah. Well, still, it would be way too cheap to take hot shots at Cannon for the way he runs, how he's always breathing hard, or how he looks when he's fighting. Or... How about when he's lying down? Or even better, when he's getting up. No, wait, it gets better. Work it first. Okay, okay. One more time. Oh, it really is kind of funny. <clears throat> Cannon, a no-nonsense private detective. Only on TV Land. <laughs> Last year in the United States there were 300 million escapes. 1,000 were from prison, 299,999,000 were from kitchens, which means that every single mealtime, thousands of housewives like you said goodbye to hard labor and hello to Colonel Sanders and his Kentucky Fried Chicken. Whee! The Colonel does the work. He cuts up, fries up, serves up Sunday dinner seven days a week. Take it home by the box, bucket, or barrel, but take it home. And take it from the Colonel. Kentucky Fried Chicken is finger-licking good. In Japan, the hand can be used like a knife. But this method doesn't work with a tomato. That's why we use the Ginsu. It's a knife that no kitchen should be without. The Ginsu can cut a slice of bread so thin you can almost see through it. It cuts meat better than an electric knife and goes through frozen food as though it were melted butter. The Ginsu is so sharp it can cut through a tin can and still slice a tomato like this. It can chop wood and still remain razor sharp. What's more, it's a knife that will last forever. How much would you pay for a knife like this? 
Before you answer, listen. It even comes with a matching fork to make carving a pleasure. Wait, there's much, much more. We also want you to have this six-in-one kitchen tool. It grates cheese and makes beautiful decorative vegetables. How much would you pay for all these items? Well, we'll even give you this set of six precision steak knives. The handles even match the Ginsu. And to make the offer completely irresistible, you'll get this unique spiral slicer. Down and down, around and around, and you'll have a beautiful garnish for your dinner table. Now how much would you pay? You get the Ginsu knife, the matching carving fork, the versatile six-in-one kitchen tool, a set of six steak knives, and the spiral slicer. You get them all, guaranteed in writing for 50 years, for only $9.95. It's the most incredible knife offer ever. Here's how to order. TV Lab, the Anytime Channel. Allow me to let you in on a teen tip. Use TWIP for the perfect party dip. The one ingredient you'll need to pep up your rock and roll party. And it takes no time to fix. It's just a quick mix. Zip, zing, blip, and presto. There's your TWIP dip. It's a snap. Pow, that TWIP taste is top. And it straightens out the messiest mops. Try something new. Use TWIP for your do. TWIP's the pomade that grooms your hair with TWIP polish. Just add water to TWIP. Zip, zing, blip, and presto. A dollop of TWIP for your do. whoop de doo What luster and sheen. TWIP's keen. Hey, fellas, smarten up. Look sharp and spiffy with TWIP in a jiffy. TWIP's a tasty treat. That also keeps your hair neat. TWIP for your dip. TWIP for your do. TWIP for your dip and do. He'll flip for twip as a dip. She'll coo for twip as a do. So that's a teen tip. Try twip. Find twip at any drug counter, food market, and barber shop only in TV Land. You're watching a sneak preview of the first night of Nick at Night's TV Land. It's your first taste of a new network, where you'll see first episodes of first-rate shows for the first time in decades, plus many other historic television firsts. First appearances, first airings, first points. If you want to have Nick at Night's TV Land all the time, call your cable operator and say, take me to TV Land. TV Land, the good, the weird, the wonderful. Adam's resident. Oh, hello, I'm back. Have control yourself, Gomez. Uh, I'll have you quartered, flogged, and keelhauled. Very cheerful. Mm. Reverse barbarism. It's so nice to have a thing around the house. <laughs> Thank you, Dick. Anybody can tell what kind of a family we are. Nice knife. Can I play autopsy with it? Capital idea. I'll even show you how to juggle meat cleavers. Very sporting. And Adams doesn't know the meaning of the word fear. I do. I'll shoot him in the back. <laughs> it's the old Adams spirit. Get <laughs> it. Darling, we need help. Watch The Addams Family, only on TV Land. The end. Coming up next on the first night of Nick at Night's TV Land, it's the very first episode of St. Elsewhere. It is October 4th, 1940. First episode ever of St. Elsewhere, followed by Jerry Van Dyke, starring in the infamous My Mother the Car. And then the original pilot episode of Petticoat Junction. The first night of Nick at Night's TV Land is a night of TV first, so stay tuned.
Podcast, the first episode ever of St. Elsewhere, followed by Jerry Van Dyke, starring in the infamous My Mother the Car. And then the original pilot episode of Petico Junction. The first night of Nick at Night's TV Land is a night of TV first, so stay tuned. St. Elsewhere will return after these messages. You're watching a sneak preview of the first night of Nick at Night's TV Land. It's your first taste of a new network, where you'll see first episodes of first-rate shows for the first time in decades, plus many other historic television firsts. First appearances, first airings, first points. If you want to have Nick at Night's TV Land all the time, call your cable operator and say, take me to TV Land. In the news, new warnings for smokers. Since 1965, all cigarette packages have carried warnings that smoking is dangerous. Now there's a bill in Congress to make those warnings say, how dangerous. We'll be back with cigarette warnings in the news. And now, smoking and health in the news. Cigarettes are big business, particularly in North Carolina and Virginia, where much of the tobacco that's in cigarettes is grown. Last year, Americans spent more than $20 billion on cigarettes. The government estimates they spent another $13 billion on medical care because of cigarette smoking. Back in 1964, the Surgeon General of the United States issued a report linking cigarette smoking with lung cancer. The poisons in cigarette smoke have also been closely linked with heart attacks, birth defects, and other health problems. Since 1965, Congress has required a health warning on all packs of cigarettes. While many people have quit smoking since the warnings first appeared, many others have ignored those warnings. Many kids still start smoking each year, and the smoking habit, once begun, is very difficult to break. Now, three national health groups are pushing a new bill in Congress to make the cigarette warning stronger in hopes of persuading more people to quit. Under the bill, there would be several different warnings, such as cigarette smoking is a major cause of heart disease, and cigarette smoking is the number one cause of emphysema and lung cancer. Opponents of the bill claim the health dangers have not been proved absolutely, and besides, they say, smokers would probably just ignore the new warnings anyway. I'm Christopher Glenn with the dangers of cigarette smoking in the news. And now, back to St. Elsewhere. TV Land, you're always welcome at our place. TV Land retro commercial in aisle five. Am I? Hi, it's Jessie Holmes. She has a cold and the doctor wants her to stay in bed. Oh, does she hurt and have a temperature? No, I gave her aspirin. They're your children's aspirin. That's what my mother's a snake. That's because she loves you. And when you feel better, she feels better too. Mother's a life that. Yeah, Always rely on new orange-flavored Bayer aspirin for children. You and your child will both feel better fast. Meet Mr. Clean, Procter & Gamble's new all-purpose liquid cleaner. Mr. Clean gets rid of dirt and grime and grease in just a minute. Mr. Clean will clean your whole house and everything that's in it. Floors, doors, walls, halls, white sidewalls, tires, and old golf balls. Think those bathtubs he'll do. He'll even help clean laundry, too. Mr. Clean gets rid of dirt and grime and grease in just a minute. Mr. Clean will clean your whole house and everything that's in it. Can he clean a kitchen sink? Quicker than a wink. Can he clean a window sash? Faster than a flash. Can he clean a dirty mirror? He'll make it bright and clearer. Can he clean a diamond ring? Mr. Clean cleans anything. Mr. Mr. Clean gets rid of dirt and grime and grease in just a minute. Mr. Clean will clean your whole house and everything that's in it. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. And now, back to St. Elsewhere. 
St. Elsewhere will return after these messages. Hey, here comes another retro commercial. RCD Land! Whee! Did you know Richard was in here? No. Hmm? But he's here. A waiter. This home from a Chinese restaurant in a little container with a handle. Nothing this good could come out of a can. Could it? Could it? Or couldn't it be? Chum King Chow Mein. Only her grocer knows. We now return to TV Land, always in progress. St. Elsewhere will return after these messages. The founders, the legends of a golden age, the innovators of TV land. Rennick was getting tired watching the TV image pass by, up and up and up. The first thing we tried was a large spinning gyroscope. Next, there was a rotisserie system with a series of televisions rotating so that the actual image was held in a singular, if you will, place. But you could not change the channel without banging the living daylights out of your hand, and it scared the cat. Finally, rather than manipulating the external set, we began exploring the interior electronics. Exploring the reversibility of existing technology, not yet established for the express purpose of controlling the vertical pattern. Essentially, we took the horizontal hole and we rotated it 90 degrees. We added a button to control it later. Clean, simple, didn't scare the cat. Cat could stay and watch television. For all the TV land retro, Marshall. Thank you. You've got the look. You've got the look. You've got the look. I want to know better. You've got the look. That's all together. After a few washings, resins begin to wash away. But Van Hughes and Banalux wash and wear is blended into the fiber so nothing can wash it away. That's why crafty old George wears Banalux. The Van Hughes and wash and wear with no resin. Wash and wear that's blended in to stay in. Day after day. Year after year. Permanently. See you tomorrow, George. Wash and wear. Guaranteed for the life of the shirt or your money back. Van Heusen, younger by design. We at American Tourister know that waiting for every suitcase is the unexpected. <laughs> That's why we reinforce our beautiful American Tourister lightweights with a steel frame of rugged rubber wheels and tough protective corners. To us, an American tourister, 
It's not just how good it looks. It's how long it looks good. Coming up next on the first night of Nick at Night's TV Land, it's the first pilot episode for the much talked about, but rarely seen, My Mother the Car. And now, back to St. Elsewhere. Nick at Night's TV Land is the place for the good, the weird, and the wonderful. Like our next show, the infamous sitcom, My Mother the Car. This is one channel you need all the time. So call your cable company and ask for it by name. Nick at Night's TV Land. This is not a test. She's hip, she's happening, she's that girl, but hey, she's not that kind of girl. I don't think I care to have the slightest idea of what you're talking about. That girl, not that kind of girl. I can't spend a night with you. That girl? Oh, Donald, I think voting is more than a privilege. I think it's a sacred trust of a free society. Not that kind of girl. We asked for two single rooms. That girl. Oh, Donald, Daddy's proud of me. Not that kind of girl. Isn't the word no in your vocabulary? Donald. Of course it is. Have you forgotten how many times I've said it to you? When you're not looking for that kind of girl, watch that girl only on TV Land. I don't know what this is all about. But until I find out, I'm gonna have to lock you up. Take me where the good guys win. I'll be right over. Where the love's taken. Girl is a girl. Me? And the guy is a guy. Where women be in the watches of fire. Take me to TV land. Tell the world I'm a TV fan. Take me to TV land. Take me to TV land. You are here. Your place for the good. The weird and the wonderful. It's everything television, so stay where you are and let Nick at Night's TV Land take you away. You're watching a sneak preview of the first night of Nick at Night's TV Land. It's your first taste of a new network, where you'll see first episodes of first-rate shows for the first time in decades, plus many other historic television firsts. First appearances, first airings, first points. If you want to have Nick at Night's TV Land all the time, call your cable operator and say, take me to TV Land. Don't go away. There's another retro commercial coming up. Who wants to stare without a care and shoot so high in the sky? Bumps up and down just like a clown. Everyone knows it's clinky. The best person yet to give or get. The kids will all want to try. The hit of the day when you're ready to play. Everyone knows it's clinky. It's clinky. It's clinky. For fun is the best of the toys. It's clinky. It's clinky. The favorite of girls and boys. And look at these. Here are some more wonderful slinky toys. Here is a slinky hippo. And here is a slinky elephant. And here is a slinky caterpillar. A slinky toy, a slinky toy, we we'll run and play all day. A slinky toy, a slinky toy, my favorite toy, you'll say. Here is a slinky toy for every girl and boy. You have the surprise for me? Yes, sir. It's a new breakfast cereal called Maple. From now on, you're really going to like oatmeal. Take off your hat. Your hat. I want my cowboy hat. After breakfast. I want it now. <laughs> you like Maple sugar candy? <laughs> That's oatmeal. Right. But it says here it's Maple flavored oatmeal. I want my hat. Tell you what, I'll be an aeroplane. You be the hanger. Open the door. Here it comes. Loaded with delicious maple flavored maple. Cowboys love maple. Yep, cowboy. Let's 
Coming up next, it's the infamous and bizarre sitcom, My Mother the Car. Then the original pilot episode of Petticoat Junction. And then the first episode and origin story of Green Acres. The first night of Nick at Night's TV Land is a night of TV first. So stay tuned. TV Land. It works even while you sleep. Over there in Hooterville, they got more than their fair share of gorgeous women. Betty Jo, Bobby Jo, Billy Jo. I'm the world's most glamorous model. And, of course, Kate. What? Ah, Kate, <laughs> that sweet siren of the shady rest, that rural Aphrodite, that glorious femme fatale in the full flower of womanhood. That's a real compliment, believe me. Kate is a real woman, and a whole lot of women. How much do you weigh? She can bring home the bacon, fry it up in a pan, and never, never let you forget you're a man. I never thought of it that way, but the more I think of it that way, the more I like it. Treat yourself to an eyeful of Kate on Petticoat Junction, only on TV Land. You're watching a sneak preview of the first night of Nick at Night's TV Land. It's your first taste of a new network, where you'll see first episodes of first-rate shows for the first time in decades, plus many other historic television firsts. First appearances, first airings, first points. If you want to have Nick at Night's TV Land all the time, call your cable operator and say, take me to TV Land. Another Retro Marshall from TV Land. You need this hole to beat me, Bob. You better worry, George. I got it Hold made. It. Damn body. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Dad! Jody? A checkup. Jimmy only had two cavities, and I didn't have any. Hey, we really did it. How'd you do it? We brushed with Crest now. Must be the Crest. It has fluoride. The others we tried didn't. Hey, great. A toothpaste should fight cavities. Crest can't promise everybody results like this, but we can promise most people good checkup. Fighting cavities is the whole idea behind Crest. Hey, George, maybe your game is really tennis. <laughs> <laughs> Another fine retromercial brought to you by TV Land. Many people have tried to imitate this unique man. Who is this specimen supposed to be? But there's only one Sergeant Bilko, and he's only on TV Land. And now, back to My Mother the Car. My Mother the Car will return after these messages. Three, two, one, blast off! Into outer space with TWIP power. Now you too can explore outer space with TWIP. Get your very own little boy TWIP complete with launching pad in every new box of TWIP. Just put it together and then... Blip. Blast off with TWIP. So ask Mom to buy a box of TWIP. Yes, ask Mom. Beg Mom to buy a box of TWIP today while supplies last. Hey, kids. Would you like to get one of these neat TWIP beauty launchers? Well, here's how. Simply have Mom go to the store and buy one regular size box of TWIP along with two fun size pick a pack of TWIPs and one giant family size box of TWIP. Answer the TV Land quiz on the back of the box top of your regular size box of TWIP and write your answers on the back of the box top of your giant family size box of TWIP. Now simply find the little boy TWIPs on each pick a pack of TWIP, cut them out, and paste one alongside each of your answers to the TV Land quiz. Just print your name and address on the back of the family size box top of TWIP under your TV Land quiz answers and send it along with 10 cents to Little Boy TWIP, care of TWIP Chemical Corporation, TV Land. Zip! Zing! Zip! My TWIP! TWIP is available in food markets, department stores, and automotive service stations everywhere in TV Land. And only in TV Land. Coming up next on the first night of Nick at Night's TV Land, it's the pilot episode of Petticoat Junction, not seen since it was first broadcast in 1963. And now, back to My Mother the Car. Coming up next, it's the original pilot episode of Petticoat Junction. 
And then, the first episode and origin story of Green Acres. Followed by the very first episode of Gunsmoke. The first night of Nick at Night's TV Land is a night of TV first. So stay tuned. Pedico Junction will return after these messages. Green Acres is the place to be. Fresh farm living is a life for me. Land spreading out so far and wide. You can take Manhattan and I'll chill on the countryside. New York is where I'd rather stay. I'd rather sit in my jacuzzi than a pile of hay. I got my cellular phone and my penthouse views. Darling, I love you, but I'll take Park Avenue. The chores. The sores. Fresh air. I like Pine Square. Oh, come on. No, but you I know what? Like I like the city life. the music. Green Acres on TV Land. You're watching a sneak preview of the first night of Nick at Night's TV Land. It's your first taste of a new network, where you'll see first episodes of first-rate shows for the first time in decades, plus many other historic television firsts. First appearances, first airings, first points. If you want to have Nick at Night's TV Land all the time, call your cable operator and say, take me to TV Land. Open 24 hours. It's probably too late to call your cable operator tonight, but first thing in the morning, give them a ring and tell them you want Nick at Night's TV Land, the brand new 24-hour channel with television favorites on tap. And now, stay tuned for Green Acres as our all-night sneak preview continues. Pedico Junction will return after these messages. Take me to TV Land. Genteel beiges, some laced with silver, ash blondes, pale to platinum, or spun to gold. So many shining shades, and all of them fresh, blind, beautiful. It's a whole new system from start to finish for lightening, toning, conditioning, setting. From Lady Clairol, the first lady in blonding, blondes with the look of a lady. Try it, the difference is dazzling. <laughs> Take me to Coming up next, it's the first episode and origin story of Green Acres. Followed by the very first episode of Gunsmoke. And then, the pilot episode of Manix. The first night of Nick at Night's TV Land is a night of TV first, so stay tuned. TV Land. Wish you were here. Out west and back when, they called it the Great Equalizer. There's not going to be any gunfighting in my town as long as I can help it. Your town. Due to continuing congressional concerns about television violence, this TV Land promotional spot has been altered to reflect contemporary mores. On Gunsmoke, the original western, the one that mattered. It was the frontier, Dodge City, where your best friend was a Colt 45, and flying lead etched out one-way trips to eternity. Did you hear that? The kinder, gentler gun smoke. Well, you know, times change. Watch it every weeknight, only on TV Land. And now, back to Green Acres. Green Acres will return after these messages. 
You're watching a sneak preview of the first night of Nick at Night's TV Land. It's your first taste of a new network, where you'll see first episodes of first-rate shows for the first time in decades, plus many other historic television firsts. First appearances, first airings, first points. If you want to have Nick at Night's TV Land all the time, call your cable operator and say, take me to TV Land. Peggy Fair is Joe Mannix's very capable secretary. She can type 65 words per minute. She makes a mean cup of coffee, and she takes a lot of messages. Unfortunately, Mannix doesn't recognize her greatest gift. Good sound advice. Oh. Don't get hit on the head! Tune in for The Wisdom of Peggy every weekday on Mannix and only on TV Land. Don't go away. There's another retro commercial coming up. Joey called this morning. So has Joe. Joey? What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing? Our Joey called 2,000 miles. The kids are all right? Fine. Sally? Fine. The kids are fine. Sally's fine. So why did he call? I asked him that too. And why are you crying? Because Joey said I called. Just because I love you, Mom. Reach out, reach out and touch someone. Oh, we've gone bananas for big banana in crayon. You learn to write a lot of ways. Oh, we've gone bananas for big banana in crayon. The colors are so bright and gay. Oh, we've gone bananas for big Just experienced a TV Land retromercial. Coming up next on the first night of Nick at Night's TV Land, it's the pilot first episode of the first TV Western that was made for adults, Gunsmoke. You're watching an all-night sneak preview of our brand new 24-hour channel, Nick at Night's TV Land. If you want it, you have to call your cable company and demand it. Call tonight or first thing tomorrow or both. This has been a film waste presentation, darling. Take me to TV. Coming up next, it's the very first episode of Gunsmoke. Followed by the very first Mannix. And then TV's first female detective, Honey West. The first night of Nick at Night's TV Land is a night of TV first, so stay tuned. Gunsmoke will return after these messages. And now for a look behind the scenes of TV Land and the popular private eye drama, Mannix. One of the keys to the show's success was keeping the gruff but good-hearted main character, Joe Mannix, alive. Good thinking. So the show's writers usually had gun-wielding bad guys hit Mannix with their guns rather than shoot him. On the occasions when Mannix does get shot at... I get shot at a lot. ...you'll notice that he either A, is just barely missed, B, pretends to be dead until the danger passes, or C, on the very rare occasions that he actually gets shot, he's always hit in the shoulder or arm. No, it's just a scratch. Stay tuned for more fascinating looks behind the scenes of TV Land. Don't go away. There's another retromercial coming up. Oh, Lucy, I just got Fred's Christmas present. A Schaefer snorkel pen. You know, the one you fill without getting in the ink. Hmm? No, I mean the pen doesn't get in the ink. <laughs> Only the little tube does. That's why they call it a snorkel pen. You just twist the little knob and a special filling tube comes out and it drinks up the ink. Not even Fred could get his hands messy with this pen. Hmm? No, he's got a ballpoint. What he needs is a good fountain pen for more important stuff, like signing leases. <laughs> That's why I got him the Schaefer white dot pen. I got him a matching pencil, too, and they're packing the cutest gift box you ever saw. Sure you can. I'll bring it right down. You know, I think Schaefer pens make the finest personal gift money can buy. So beautiful, so useful. Something to remember you by through the years. 
Won't you select your Schaefer gifts at your favorite jeweler, stationer, drug, or department store tomorrow? Another fine retromercial brought to you by TV Land. Take me to TV Land. And now, back to Gunsmoke. You're watching the all-night sneak preview of Nick at Night's TV Land. But wouldn't you like to be able to get to TV Land every night? Call your cable company and beg, plead, demand that they put Nick at Night's TV Land in their lineup. I don't know what this is all about. Until I find out, I'm gonna have to lock you up. Take me where the good guys win. I'll be right over. Where her love's taken. A girl is a girl. Me? And the guy is a guy. <laughs> Where women live in the water supply. Take me to TV land. Tell the world I'm a TV fan. Take me to TV land. Take me to Wonderful. It's everything television, so stay where you are and let Nick at Night's TV Land take you away. They were the originators, the founders, the legends of a golden age. The innovators of TV Land. People say to me, Morty Schlichter, you are a genius. I say, I don't know, maybe I am. That's the very shirt I was wearing. A lot landed on me. I'm sorry, I'm a sentimental fool. But those coffee stains, they always get me. I'll say this, it was not an accident, it was not luck. It was not easy. It was something that came out of literally thousands of performances. Now, drooling had always been a part of the act, and we had toyed with the idea of uh, spitting toast. It didn't fly right. That particular night, Bud was a mess. Bud molded it. He was something of a source artist. I think I can say that now. Anyway, he's stumbling his way through the script, and the idea occurs to me, boom, like that. But finally gets to his line, and I give him the spit take. The first spit take. Oh, it was a beauty. <laughs> the explosion, the spritz, the froth, it was all there the very first time. Naturally, we kept it in, became a regular part of the act. Genius? Maybe. <laughs> That's for others to say. Coming up next on the first night of Naked Night's TV Land, it's the pilot episode of the acclaimed detective series, Mannix, not broadcast since 1967. TV Land, 40 years in a blender. He's unkempt, untamed, and unpredictable. He's Detective Mick Thoker, and only one person has what it takes to bring this savage beast back to the human race. It's not a cop. It's not a criminal. It's someone who has Mick Thoker's number. I'm, uh... I'm, uh... I'm, uh... Thoker and his mother. <laughs> on Hill Street Blues, only on TV Land. I love you too, Ma. Goodbye. They were the originators, the founders, the legends of a golden age. The innovators of TV Land. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I was a painter then. Painted all the time. Just paint, 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 morning till night. <laughs> painting like a painting fool. <laughs> Did I offer you some brownies? What? Oh, yes. Well, they just need a little something to put on the air so people wouldn't think their set was on the fritz. I was painting firemen and farms, 
But what they wanted was straight lines that you could focus on. And the channel name. And all that was left was a little tiny circle. And I just painted an Indian chief. It didn't have to be in color, but I like color. So I made it in colors. I like colors. You like colors? Everybody likes colors. I bet even that stern old Indian chief likes the bright colors I made his headdress. Don't you, Mr. Chief? We now return to Mannix. <laughs> Don't go away. Maddox will be right back. It slices and dices. It's a TV Land Retro Marshall. Clark Teaberry Gum presents the Teaberry Shuffle. Try Clark Teaberry Gun. This was a TV Land Retroversal. Please call again. We now return to Mannix. TV Land, you're always welcome at our place. You're watching a sneak preview of the first night of Nick at Night's TV Land. It's your first taste of a new network, where you'll see first episodes of first-rate shows for the first time in decades, plus many other historic television firsts. First appearances, first airings, first points. If you want to have Nick at Night's TV Land all the time, call your cable operator and say, take me to TV Land. Let's be careful out there. I wanna go. Take me where the cops are cool. I wanna go. Take me where the kids like school. I wanna go. Sit me down for a really big show. A song. Those plates. Go for G Joe. Take me to TV Land. Take me to TV Land. I'll ask, I'll beg, I'll even demand. Take me. Take me. Nick at Night's TV Land, the network that's 34% better than real life, guaranteed. So stay tuned. We now return to Mannix. Catch a retro commercial right now. Now there's a happy accident, an accident that could lead to opportunity. But then he had to take off his hat, and uh-oh, poor guy. Dry, lifeless hair can take the fun out of your life, but you can put it back with Brill Cream. With Brill Cream, a little dab'll do you. Watch Brill Cream put life, life, life in dry hair and fun back into your life. Brill Cream gives your hair that look the ladies love. Excitingly clean, disturbingly healthy, so masculine. Watch. Brill Cream, a little dab'll do ya. Brill Cream, you look so never there. Brill Cream, the gals will all pursue ya. They'll up to get their fingers in your hair. Use Brill Cream and put life in your hair. Shorty, watch the front. Show me the back. I'm along like the side. Okay, there's a stick-up. A funny-looking pantyhose. That wrinkles. World's best-fitting pantyhose. There's an ordinary pair that I use for cheaper stick-ups. Once stretched, they stay stretched. But wrinkles fight to stay tight. The secret is in the thread. Look at these microscopic pictures. 
The ordinary pantyhose thread just lays there. But the Winkles thread fights to stay tight on any shaped leg. See? No bag of the knee, no sag of the ankle. And Winkles are only $1.99. Okay, the money. Dollar ninety-nine? Sure. Capping off this all-night sneak preview of Nick at Night's TV Land is the first episode of the first female to headline a detective series. Stay tuned for Honey West, coming up next. Watch, and then call your cable company until they wake up and add Nick at Night's TV Land to their lineup. Coming up next on the first night of Nick at Night's TV Land, it's the first episode of the first detective series starring a female detective, Honey West. I don't know what this is all about. But until I find out, I'm going to have to lock you up. Take me where the good guys win. I'll be right over. Where the love's taken. Girl is a girl. Me? And the guy is a guy. <laughs> Where women be in the water supply. Take me to TV land. Tell the world I'm a TV fan. Take me to TV land. Take me to TV land. You are here. Your place for the good. The Weird and The Wonderful. It's everything television, so stay where you are and let Nick at Night's TV Land take you away. Then get hip to this. Twips available only in TV Land. Don't go away. Honey West will be right back. You're watching a sneak preview of the first night of Nick at Night's TV Land. It's your first taste of a new network, where you'll see first episodes of first-rate shows for the first time in decades, plus many other historic television firsts. First appearances, first airings, first points. If you want to have Nick at Night's TV Land all the time, call your cable operator and say, take me to TV Land. Three, two, one, TV Land Retromercial. There's a villain on the highway late at night. This guy will really chill you. What a sight. In your auto, he will park, start you trembling in the dark. His sticky valves are riding with you tonight. His sticky valves are riding with you tonight. Are you sure your car is running exactly right? He will make your engine sputter and your car will jerk and stutter. His sticky valves are riding with you tonight. If you want to save your power, now listen here. Add Bardol to your car, he'll disappear. Sticky valves won't be sticking and your motor won't be kicking. Add Bardol to your car and never fear. 
Bardol did it again. Bardol did it again. Bardol did it again. TV Land. We like TV. Don't go away. Honey West will be right back. Come ride the little train that is rolling down the tracks to the junction. Forget about your cares, it is time to relax at the junction. Lots of curves, you bet, and even more when you get to the junction. Petticoat Junction. There's a little hotel called the Shady Rest at the junction. It is run by Kate. Come and be her guest at the junction. And that's Uncle Joe. He's a moving kind of slow at the junction. Petticoat Junction. I don't know what this is all about. Until I find out, I'm going to have to lock you up. Take me where the good guys win. I'll be right over. For who loves taking a chin where a girl is a girl. Me? And the guy is a guy. It's everything television, so stay where you are and let Nick at Night's TV Land take you away. You're watching a sneak preview of the first night of Nick at Night's TV Land. It's your first taste of a new network, where you'll see first episodes of first-rate shows for the first time in decades, plus many other historic television firsts. First appearances, first airings, first points. If you want to have Nick at Night's TV Land all the time, call your cable operator and say, take me to TV Land. Well, folks, that's it for our special sneak preview of Nick at Night's TV Land. From now on, you'll have to have TV Land to go to TV Land. Call your cable company today and let it ring until they wake up and put Nick at Night's TV Land on their service. Thanks for watching. We conclude with the singing of God Bless America. program is part of cable in the classroom a service of the cable television industry and your local cable company the two 13-minute programs that follow were produced with the support of Nickelodeon and the National Science Foundation to receive free newsletters and program schedule call Mr. Wizard Foundation, 1-800-258-2344. Graduate credit from the University of Michigan-Dearborn can be earned by completing coursework based on Teacher to Teacher.